some these changes as well. I think a big influence would be uh, dancers or bodies in movement or some type of uh, pose, but it's not static, it's quite, you know, it, it could be fluid, it could be moving, it could be walking or uh, dancing in some form, or even that as they stand, they're, 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 there's, a, there's a flow. Um, I've watched dance theatre, um, which is something that really impressed me. Theatre itself, I think the idea of the, you know, the, the, how light can change the mood and how the stage can be transformed through addition of more colour, or, um, and I don't know how the, the, the layers and dancers and music work together. So I think what I'm finding with my own paintings are and my own work is that layers are becoming more distinct and more visible. So the dancer, the, the, the figure is definitely a, a point of reference. Bring together ideas, maybe through colour or through movement or through line, to bring it to a point. It's my impression of, 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 of an energy. And, and in this case, I mean, the idea of somebody dancing or energy that moves in order to generate uh, existence. That's pretty big energy. So you see in this painting here, you've got, uh, maybe there's uh, the lines of energy, it's more of psychic connectors, could be mental energy. Um, there's the gold color, which would be more of spiritual elements. Um, there's actually fish in the corner of the painting here on the, on the left, which could be more of a deeper, deeper emotion. Um, and at the same time, the figure himself is translucent, so he's not human as such, but he's, he's personifying an energy. And my uh, influence also is Kundalini energy, where there's a, a gradual awakening. Uh, the energy is moving up, and it's coming through, uh, through the top of the head, through, through the body. And the natural energy is coming through. So. I'm also trying to put a mythology onto the the picture itself. I finished this just recently, so it's brand new one today, the shadows of light, so it literally is directly connected to them. This painting gives you the idea for the name of the show, Shadows of Light, so the energy coming through, it's, it's being emitted, coming from, from within, and it's starting to illuminate a dark scene. But within the dark scene, there's elements of light. So I suppose the idea of this is no matter how dark things seem, there's always elements of light. And at the same time, when things are light, there's always elements of shadow. So a constant dance. What I did here is what gradually sort of grew out of the picture. So you've got the light here, um, and the red just started to, in some form, flow out and you start to create the, the dancing figure. Who also then is personifying a, a red arched city at the bottom you can see. And in this painting, there are figures, there's many figures in this picture which could be um, ourselves, our human selves living in the city, interplaying among these shapes and, and lights and levels and layers. So at the back, at the top of this picture, this painting here is called Aries, which I chose as a name in that area, so the ram it could also be a darker figure under or an enigmatic darker figure, like a darker energy that is ever present. The god of creativity, the, the instigator, who is bringing forth this creative energy, I think. So I think the idea with all of the pictures here is that there's a creativity in flow. And it's framed for us now, in our perspective, from a city shaped human environment. But it's kind of shows that there are many more layers in front or above that exist and I'm trying to maybe capture it all in some form with the lens. I think for me, the colour is starting to come through a way of imitating the energy. They create the feeling they create themselves. So having this experience now, having presented this exhibition I think that the earth has taken a new uh, a new energy, a new form and, you know, I'm excited about what's going to happen next, but at, at this point I'm very happy with the, the way that the, the work flows and I think there's a there's energy in it.
What do you look to for inspiration? I think I'm influenced by architecture, um, by, by color, by design, possibly, by uh, shape and form. Harry Clark, stained glass. The Brocky, um, Francis Bacon. Talk the idea of geometry of space. Um, I think some of these paintings come through with uh, some, some type of perspective, you know, you want a uh, plus that's not straight, it's, it could be tilted or angular, so I certainly play with this idea of uh, shape and form, angles, triangles, layering, and I'm going to be playing with the layers, and in the layers, I can create some other, other forms. So what I, what I often do is I'll paint something and then find that it may look like something else and trying to incorporate shapes and forms. So it's something I'm saying in terms of a classical illusion or there could be something in the face that can be created only by the, the, by the, the colors and forms meeting um, over there. So, but I do find that I'll start painting with, that, with the ge geometrical form in mind. The composition is, is geometrical. And then I'm, as I create it, the paint starts to flow in lines or in certain shapes. A big influence would be uh, dancers or bodies in movement or some type of uh, pose, but it's not. Watch dance theatre, um, which is something that really impressed me. The theatre itself, I think the idea of the, you know, the, the, how light can change the mood and how the stage can be transformed through addition of more color or uh.